Hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Becky, and if you are returning to watch another one of my videos, thank you for being here. Today's video is different from my normal grocery hauls. So I actually recently just posted a video explaining how I personally stick to my $60 a week grocery budget. I'm not gonna lie. So in real time, that has not gone live yet. But simply on, based on like how I feel about that video and like the, the enjoyment I got out of making that video, editing that video and sharing that with you guys, that alone inspired me to, you know, try to figure out more ways to save money and share it with you guys. So today I am going to be grocery shopping a little bit differently. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard of the YouTuber Frugal Fit Mom. I will link her down below because, you know, she just totally needs me to link her. But um, I was genuinely inspired by the way she grocery shops. So I am going to be shopping like she does in this video. So if you're not familiar with her type of shopping, she basically like, basically she grocery store hops. Um, so, which is not something that I generally do. I usually just like stick to Aldi. Sometimes I'll do like a grocery outlet. Sometimes I'll check sales places. But um, as someone who genuinely loves finding a good deal and it brings me so much joy, I was like, this feels like a really reasonable thing for me to try. And I'm also going to keep track of time to see how long it takes me to do this. So I am I left my house about 15 minutes ago. Right now it's 11.30. So our official start time, we're just going to go with 11.15. Uh, I feel like that's fair travel times and everything because, you know, we're going to include the amount of time it takes to travel places. Also, I have a new notebook. My friend gave me this. How cute is it? I love Pooh Bear and she knows. Um, so since I am doing my grocery shopping a little bit different this week, I set up my um, grocery list a little bit different. Let me show you what I have written down. I have my list here and there, okay? And this first column, I wrote down the Aldi prices. Also, I really like the way I organize this. So I think I'm gonna continue to organize my grocery list like this, simply out of ease. And then on this page, I wrote down the deals that I'm gonna be looking at. All right, so it's currently 11.42. Took a little bit longer because the coupons weren't working at first. The manager had to come over. My social anxiety was loving it. But I'm gonna pop up on the screen the two coupons that I used. I got a thing of waters and three mac and cheeses for a dollar. Um, so spent so far was four dollars thirty eight cents. Now we're gonna go to the next grocery store. All right, I was gonna go to the outlet, but then there's a food city right here, and this is a place I'm gonna go for one of the deals. So I'm gonna run in here really quickly and grab what I want. This is what I'm here for. Apples. Time check. It is 12:23, and I am at the third of four stores I want to go to today. check it is now 101 p.m. Um, so far I have spent a total of $25.68 so at Aldi I have to get the rest of my groceries for $34.38 Okay, so in the store, I'm going to make adjustments to my list because some things 
um, I have on my list that I know I'm not gonna be able to get today. So I'm crossing off things for the pantry just to make sure I can get everything I need for my actually grocery budget, for my grocery meal prep or whatever, my meal plan. So I'm doing that in the store right now. Hot dogs and hamburgers are 129 and 129. So I made a good deep price choice. Okay, there's some chicken thighs, 50% off this package here. And then for chicken wings, they're 50% off that guy. The eggs have gone down to 118. Okay, so the only two things I didn't get that I could have gotten that was on the list was flour, peanut butter, and cream cheese. But I have all of those things, so it's fine. So I'll keep it on my list for next time. Okay, time check. I'm out of Aldi. It is 1.36. I'm going to go home. We're going to decide time, value. Did we keep our $60 a week grocery budget? You are going to find out when we get home. I'm going to call the time here. It's officially 1.52 p.m. So we started our time at 11.15, ended our time at 1.52 p.m. In front of me is every single item we got today. And spoiler, you guys. I was. I'm pretty sure if I did my math correct, I spent a total of $60.73. So unfortunately, I was 73 cents over my budget. So I got this 24 pack of waters for like $2.79, it was a great price. I used a coupon to get that price and that was the coupon that messed up, but Garrett drinks these a lot and it's nice to have them on hand. The other coupon I used was for these three mac and cheeses, three for a dollar. And then our next stop was Food Lion. I will tell you, Food Lion? No, Food City, went to Food City. Uh, I will tell you the price for chicken at the United Grocery Outlet was better. And typically I would go to the grocery outlet first and compare prices, but you live and you learn. This is the first time I've tried to do a grocery haul like this. so. I feel like for my first time, I didn't do terribly. Um, chicken thighs, these were $4.36, and then I got some chicken thighs again for $4.23, and then this pineapple, 99 cents. So at the grocery outlet, I got some lunch meat. This was a great price, and it had turkey and ham in it, so I'll probably just freeze one and work through the other one. Two for four corn on the cob. I think it's fun to change up our veggies and fruits and stuff because we do broccoli like all the time, which like bro there's nothing wrong with broccoli, but two for four for corn on the cob, that's a great price as compared to, f no, I'm saying that backwards. Four for two, sorry, four for $2. Um, and then the enchilada sauce, three for a dollar. Um, these are gonna expire pretty soon, uh, but these are actually four recipes. The Rotel was cheaper at, the grocery outlet than the off-brand at Aldi. And then 12 pack of hot dog buns, $1. Um, and I have those beer brats on our meal plan with some corn, mac and cheese, a little grill out, cause I have them and everything that basically went together was on on a sale. So I'm gonna freeze half of this. Um, and then two for a dollar is the deal always at the grocery outlet for tortillas. They only have the whole wheat ones, which is fine. And then I think of eggs. Actually, Aldi was a cent cheaper, which I was like, what? But it's fine, I made literally just one cent. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to Aldi. So this is where I went over a little bit because I wanted the cherries. That's, that's just the truth. I could have gotten a whole watermelon for like less than the cherries, but I love cherries and cherry season is my favorite time of the year. And I was just really excited about them. So I'm gonna wash those and eat those literally the second I get done with this um, haul. So I got some peas because I bought peas last week, did not use them for a recipe, but used them for our dogs. So I wanted to stock, grab another thing of those because it's easy to throw in pastas, super cheap, easy dinner idea. Ground turkey, I haven't bought ground turkey in a while, but I need that for a recipe coming up. So I grabbed one of those, a block of cheddar cheese, a container of butter, Glad I picked this up because we went through a whole box last week of butter. We go through a lot of butter in this house. Um, so I'm trying to buy one a, week, one a week again to get my stock built back up. And then two things of cheese slices. Mild and medium were on sale this week, so I got both of those. 
I got a thing of potato chips and then two cans of black beans and a can of corn. Two of my recipes this week call for black beans and one of them calls for corn. Um, two bags of frozen broccoli just for dinners, quick, easy sides. Thing of milk for Garrett, some corn muffin mix and some garlic powder. So those are that. And then these were on sale 99 cents each. I should have probably just got one considering I went over but I got chicken and a cheddar broccoli, so. This is my grocery haul as a whole. I'm gonna recalculate the total and put it on the screen for you guys in case my math is horrible and I calculated incorrectly. Whatever you're seeing on the screen right now is the total. So I'm home and I wanted to chat with you guys and see where we're at. So in fact, the total was $60.73. So I did go over 73 cents. However, that is not horrible. It's not even a full dollar over budget. It's something that I don't like to do at all, but 73 cents is not gonna kill me. Two-ish hours, I'll put the exact amount of time it took me to do this on the screen um, to get all these deals. How am I feeling now compared to how I normally feel? I think I made a few mistakes. This is my first time trying this method, so obviously, mistakes will be made. I'm not a professional. I think what I should have done, which I did not do, is look on the weekly ads and write down those prices, which I did in my notebook. I showed you guys at the beginning. I did do that. But what I should have done is had the prices with me and gone to the grocery outlet first because the grocery outlet's prices on chicken were like 89 cents a pound compared to the $1.29 that I had just paid. I think in the future, that's something that I will definitely do if I continue to do this method. Um, another thing that I don't think I'll do again is go to that first store I went to. I chose to go today because they had the mac and cheese deal and the water deal. And those are two things that would keep on stock here. And it was such a good price. I was like, okay, maybe I'll make the trip. And like, since I'm trying this out for the first time, maybe this will be worth it. I don't think it was to go all the way out to that store and work my way back all the way back home. So I think in the future, I'll be starting at the grocery outlet. I won't be going to the first store I went to today unless I just have like crazy awesome deals that I want to snag. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check like Food City, Publix, um, stores like that for reduced prices. Um, maybe throughout the week or something just to see um, if it's worth it to include it in my grocery haul or to like adjust my meal plan based on the deals that I'm finding. Do I think this is attainable for everyone? No, I don't think it's realistic for people to spend their whole, to spend two hours grocery shopping um, when they could get relatively similar prices at their regular grocery store. However, I did put every single item in my Aldi cart, which is where I would normally go and get all of my items from, that I got today for $60.73. I put everything in my Aldi cart, which I will show you guys here on the screen. And the total on my Aldi cart was like 87-ish dollars. So I saved around $25 today. I think that is awesome. Like that's a huge, huge, huge margin of savings. I think I could have saved more money if I had been a little bit more strategic and done a better job planning when it comes, when it came to the meat um, specifically. Um, but that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So I think Frugal Fit Mom is definitely onto something when it comes to shopping sales and shopping around like that pineapple for 99 cents. That's awesome. Getting cherries for $3.99 a pound is a great deal because most of the time I think they're like $5.99, $6.99 or something crazy like that. I love cherries, so that's worth it for me. And yes, we were a little over budget probably because of the cherries, but I will eat them and I will love it. And I feel like personally, I got a really, really um, good mixture of fruits and vegetables um, that I normally don't get. Like getting the corn, I usually wouldn't buy corn, but since it is on sale, I decided to grab it or like that cantaloupe that I got, like I wouldn't normally get that type of cantaloupe because it's normally more expensive, but since it was such a good price and I had saved money in other ways, I was able to get it. Um, and I was, and I didn't feel guilty buying the cherries 
which normally I would, and normally I wouldn't buy, if I'm being honest. Normally I would just buy a bag of apples because they're way cheaper. But since I had done such a good job up to that point, staying in my budget and saving a bunch of money, I personally felt like it was okay to get the cherries. So anyways, there were a few things I did not get that were on my list that I decided in the store that I was not gonna get, but I did supplement them like with those two bags of flavored rice. Um, and I made sure to get a butter. I did not get coffee pods because we have ground coffee. Coffee pods are a luxury and you don't need it. Um, I was gonna get another cream cheese, but we have one in the freezer right now. I don't have to have one. And I was gonna get an extra peanut butter, but we have one right now. I don't have apples on hand, so we're not gonna go through it as fast as if I did. Um, I kind of like, you know, played around with it a little bit in my head in the store. I think I'm gonna continue to play around with this method and see how it works for me over time. And if I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck, and if I feel like I am able to have this be something conceivable to do, I'm gonna try to share things with you guys as I learn. This is obviously a learning experience for me because this is the first time I've done something like this. Like obviously I, you know, have before shopped around at like the grocery outlet and stuff, but I don't think as strategically as I could have been. So I'm excited to see um, how much money we're gonna be able to save while getting more food, especially since we are on a very strict budget of $60 a week. Totally like valid, not everyone has the time to do this. I do because I don't have children, I have a dog, I have a husband who works from home and my schedule is pretty flexible. I do get two days off and they're not during a normal weekend. So when I go into the grocery store, it's not crazy packed and I can take my time and peruse. So I, I know my situation is a little bit different from everyone else's when it comes to the ability to take the time to do these things. So I'm gonna use my time wisely and hopefully save us a bunch of money while also getting awesome food to feed our bellies. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and hang out for more. And I'll see you guys in another video super soon. Let me know down below what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.